Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Toons. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we'll be discussing how to play Iggy in the offlane in Paragon's new update, V42. So I'm going to show you guys all the early game cards you need to put on, all the best strategies, and everything you can think of in the offlane or needs, right? So without further ado, let's start the show. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first card I like to put on is called Font of Experience in the bottom left, right? It costs 1,000 gold at the start. You'll get 4 experience every 10 seconds. So you'll you'll probably get level 15, I don't even know, like 10 minutes. Something really crazy, right? Uh, another thing, you should recall to get this next card, right? Of course you can't, you, you have no other choice. It's called the uh, Living Guardian. So if you're a good jungler or mid laner, they can rotate for you. Or if you get a good gank and kill them on left lane. This, these two card combination will set you up for life. I'm telling you, you will hold this tower for like 20, 30 minutes unless you just blatantly leave it and give it up to them. So what Living Guardian actually does, it applies a two basic armor to you for every time you land a basic attack. And it stacks, right? Over 10 seconds. So the max uh, basic armor you can apply is 20 on your character. So that means if your turrets have 700 health, right there you see that, at level four, 700 health, and then you have 20 basic armor on at all times you can nearly just stand in front of your turrets protecting them and then try to poke at the carrier support and just weaken them as much as possible that's why i say these two cards combination is really good now for your third card i didn't have this in the deck because i forgot to put it in there honestly but i went back in there and put it back in later on so you can put this card in there uh profiteer right it's kind of risky because it, it unequips on death and it's kind of costly too at the same time. 55 gold per minion kill. If you plan on staying in that lane, which I advise you do, and you will hold it forever basically, it, this card will make up for itself. The next card as you see on the screen right now is a Reaper card. It cooldown, not cooldown, but it reduces ability cost by 20%. So this will drastically increase your sustain in this lane. So by now you guys are probably thinking like, Tunes, when are you ever going to put on any power cards, right? Well, the thing is, I'm not, okay? The reason why is you see that in the top right corner, Iggy's turn only does 70 damage per shot, right? That never increases. It doesn't matter how much power you put on. I tested this out. I was kind of shocked too. So with his new kit, unlike this old one, the old one you could have up to like, I don't even know, 15 to 1700 damage over 10 seconds, but this is a steady 70, okay? And then of course this all does 20% uh, bonus. But anyways, so there's no reason to put power on Iggy unless you're just trying to get his basic attack up. Which his basic attack is like, what is it, it's like 80 or 90, something like that. And then I think when I got 77 power in his build, I was testing it out at the time, it went up to almost like 180. Is that really worth it late game? Like what kind of damage are you going to do to somebody? So basically Iggy is now a utility player slash tanky. So he definitely like pokes at people. And I'll get into the late game cards in just a second. Th that's why I really like him. Because early game, he's a freaking goat, okay? He can easily get killed on people. Mid game, he's still pretty good, depending on what kind of cards you got on. Okay, guys. So right here are the three best cards I believe suited for Iggy in the offlane role. So right here we have the Thorn Yami, which is um, a 31 basic armor. We're not even looking at power. 31 basic armor returns 65% of damage taken for 4 seconds. So... Any amount of damage taken from anybody is immediately repelled back to them over a course of 4 seconds. Okay, so for the second card, we have the Riot Sapper. Uh, 24 ability armor. It's a mana bomb ability, right? It removes 20% of current mana from all nearby heroes. And it converts that into ability damage um, uh, equal to that of the mana loss, right? So we all know that Iggy isn't a uh, burster anymore like he was with his ink back in 41. So this is like partially a burst card. That's instant damage for you right there. The next card is also a burst card. Um, technically, it, it, uh, it removes ability armor from nearby heroes around you. It also comes with 300 and I think it says 85 health. So keep in mind guys, that 30 ability armor loss over 6 seconds isn't just for you when you get ganked or anything like that. Could you imagine that on the offensive, like you are in a team fight and you just activate that ability and either, you know, one or two or even the whole, their whole enemy team has 30 ability loss. Well, getting alt over that or a rock or anything, you know, anything with ability damage is going to really hurt them. But, you know, this is just one build I had a theory of, you know, I have like a couple others I might share with you guys. This is pretty well-rounded build, you know, it's got the health, it's got armor, it's got ability armor. It's got some, um, you know, some offensive uh, principles to it too. 
uh, let me guys, let you, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm, I'm posting, I'm definitely gonna post another build for this, but the beginning car is the first uh, three I was telling you about, the uh, Guardian one, the uh, the um, the uh, experienced one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm lost words right now. Those two are really good combinations. So keep that in mind if you're gonna actually uh, kind of manipulate this deck I showed you. But I got some more videos on the way, guys. Stay tuned for that. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe if you don't mind. Click the like button, you know, thumbs up. Uh, turn on notifications if you want to keep up to date to all my new videos. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Peace.